this lesson, we're going to be ordering integers and other rational numbers. Let's look at the first example. Sam has $10 in the bank. He owes his friend Hank $2.25. He owes his sister $1.75. Consider these three rational numbers related to this story of Sam's money. Uh, write them in order from least to greatest. So if we had to kind of attribute value to these, the money that he owes would really be negative. So we can think of this as a negative 225, and this is a negative 175. So what's the smallest number here? The negative $2.25, that's the smallest amount, and then negative 175, and then finally the $10 he has in the bank, because he has that, that's a positive amount. We're going to do the same thing here in the next example. So it says, during their most recent visit to the optometrist, the eye doctor, uh, Kadisha and her sister Beth had their vision tested. Kadisha's vision in her left eye was negative 1.5, and her vision in her right eye, right eye was the opposite number. Beth's vision was negative 1, and in her left eye, it was positive 0.25. So let's go ahead and put those numbers in order. So the smallest number here is our negative 1.5. And then we have, in one of Beth's eyes, is negative 1. And then we have a positive 0.25 in Beth's other eye. And then in Kandisha, Kandisha's other eye, it's the opposite. So it's positive 1.50. So that's order from least to greatest. And then number three, there are three pieces of mail in Mrs. Thomas's mailbox. A bill from the phone company for $38.12, a bill for the electric company for $67.55, and a tax refund check for $25.89. So if we think about a bill as money that you owe and a tax refund as money that you receive, owing money is negative, getting money is positive. So she owes or has a negative $38.12. That's the most negative. She also, uh, oh, sorry negative sixty seven dollars fifty five cents is the most negative look at those numbers out of order so that's the most negative the smallest number then negative thirty eight twelve is the next and then she has a positive twenty five dollars and eighty nine cents coming back to her from the tax refund okay uh, number four says, Monica, Jack, and Destiny measured their arm length for uh, an experiment in science class. They compare their arm lengths to a standard length of 22 inches. Uh, the listing below shows in inches how each student's arm length compares to 22 inches. So Monica, her arm is one-eighth of an inch less. Jack's is one and three-quarters inch more. And Destiny's is one-half inch less. So the furthest from um, the standard, kind of in the shorter direction, would be the negative one half of destiny. That's the shortest. Monica at negative one eighth is next. And then Jack, he is bigger than the standard, so he is positive, so he's positive one and three quarters. We can also order numbers from greatest to least. Sometimes that's uh, applicable and uh, relevant to the problem we're looking at. So Jason is entering college and has opened a checking account, which he will use for his college expenses. His parents gave him $200 to deposit into the account. Jason wrote a check for $85 to pay for his calculus book and a check for $25.34 to pay for miscellaneous school supplies. Write three rational numbers related to the balance in Jason's checking account in order from greatest to least. So when uh, Jason started, he had positive $200. That was a balance, that was money he had, so he had $200. And then, since we're talking about his balance, uh, we want to actually talk about the money he has. Not necessarily the expenses, but the effect the expenses have on how much money he has. So, um, after he spends $85, he has $115. And then after he spends $25.34, all right, so that'd be 90, and then minus 34 cents would be $89 and 66 cents that he has left. So that's the, the progress of his balance uh, from greatest to least 
given this problem. Okay, so in this exercise, uh, it says for each problem, list the rational numbers that relate to the situation in order from greatest to least. Explain how you arrived at the order. So the following are the current monthly bills that Mr. McGraw must pay. $122 for cable and internet, $73.45 for gas and electric, and $45 for his cell phone. So these are all bills, so he all owes them all, so they're all negative, so $122 is the most negative, and then negative $73.45, and then negative $45 is the least negative. There we go. All right, here we just get four numbers. Let's put them in order from, uh, oh, but I was asked to put greatest to least. So, of course, we want to put negative 45 is the greatest, negative 73.45 is the next greatest and negative 122 is the very smallest. So, sorry, not that one. We want the greatest to least order. Okay, so greatest to least here, we start off with 1 eighth, and then next is zero, and then next is negative 1 fifth. So, since 1 fifth you think is smaller than 1 third, negative 1 fifth is greater than negative 1 third. So kind of goes in a, a mirror image on the other side of zero. All right, so that takes us to the problem set that you can try on your own.